Pooling System Learning Objectives At the end of this topic, you will be able to Explain in detail about air and water cooling system Define radiator and its course Define fan Describe about the impeller water pump Explain about the concept of thermostat Outcomes By the end of this topic, you will be able to Understand the concept of cooling system with its types, advantages and limitations. Know about the basis of radiators, fan and water pump. Know about thermostat. We will now have a brief introduction on cooling system. A cooling system keeps the engine at its most efficient temperature at all speeds and operating conditions. The purpose of the engine cooling system is to prevent the overheating of your vehicle's engine. When engine combustion reaches extremely high temperatures, the resulting heat needs to be dissipated. An efficient cooling system is essential to prevent the engine from burning. Need for a cooling system Automobile engine at the best can transform around 25% of the total energy supplied into useful work. About 35% has to be removed by the cooling system. Rest of the heat energy is carried out by the exhaust gases and lubrication system. If engine is not cooled properly, it increases the temperature of the engine parts, which will seriously harm its functioning. Excess heat can cause the burning up, which results in scoring of cylinders, binding of pistons and bearings, warping of valves, etc. Thus, cooling system is required to safeguard the engine from excess heating. Cooling requirements. It should be capable of removing about 30% of heat generated in the combustion chamber while maintaining the optimum temperature of the engine under all operating conditions of the engine. It should remove heat at a faster rate when the engine is hot. At the time of starting the engine, the cooling should be very slow so that the working parts of the engine reach their operating temperatures in a short time. Types of Cooling System Cooling system consists of two types. They are air cooling system, water cooling system, air cooling. In this type, the heat is dissipated directly to the air after being conducted through the cylinder walls. Fins and flanges on the outer surfaces of the cylinders and the heads serve to increase the area exposed to the cooling air and so raise the rate of cooling. Air cooling. Applications. Motorcycles, airplanes, small stationary installations, etc. Advantages of air cooling Absence of radiator, cooling pipes and other accessories makes the cooling system simpler and hence less maintenance. No danger of coolant leakage and freezing problems. The weight per kilowatt of the air-cooled engine is less than that of the liquid cold. Disadvantages if a fan is used, greater mechanical noise is produced. In comparison with water cooling system, interior heating is generally not satisfactory. It cannot be used in cylinders, which cannot be exposed to air stream and are not separate sufficiently for enabling the air to circulate around each cylinder. Limitations of air cooling Suitable for small and medium-sized engines Higher working temperatures when compared with liquid cooling. Lower maximum allowable compression ratio. Cooling is not uniform. Types of liquid cooling systems. Thermosiphon system. Force circulation system. Evaporative cooling system. Pressure sealed cooled system. Thermosiphon system. Heat from the engine is carried by the water and the warm water travels up, its place being taken up by comparatively cold fluid from the lower header of the heat exchanger. Warm water flows from the upper header to the lower header due to gravity and its heat is given to the air as shown in the figure. Advantages Simplicity and automatic circulation of cooling water It's very cheap since no water pump is needed to assist water circulation. Due to the absence of moving parts, it's quite reliable. Disadvantages To ensure efficient circulation, the radiator top tank should be well above, so the engine requires a high bonnet. 
It is not possible to fit an interior heater without a water pump successfully. Limitations Not suitable to meet the requirement of large flow rate of water, particularly for high output engines. Forced circulation Water cooling system The method of cooling is similar to thermosiphon system, but there is addition of a pump and a thermostat. The pump is used for circulation of coolant, while the thermostat is employed to control the flow of coolant. The pump is driven by a belt from the engine crankshaft, which also drives the fan. Components of Forced Circulation Water Cooling System Radiator Fan Pump Thermostat Radiator It is a heat exchanger that removes heat from the coolant passing through it. Radiator is used to prevent a large amount of cooling surface to the air so that the water passing downwards through it in thin streams is cooled efficiently. It mainly consists of an upper tank and a lower tank and between them is a core. The upper tank is connected to the water outlets from the engine's jacket by a hose pipe and the lower tank is connected to the jacket inlet through water pump by means of hose pipes. When the water flows down through the radiator core, it is cooled partially by the fan which blows air and partially by the airflow developed by the forward motion of the vehicle. As shown through water passages and air passages, water and air flow for cooling purpose. It is to be noted that radiators are generally made out of copper, brass and their joints are made by soldering. Variation in radiator Older vehicles use downflow radiators with the coolant flowing from top to bottom. 
Modern vehicles use cross flow radiators with the coolant flowing from one side to the other side. Types of radiator cores Tubular radiator. In this, upper and lower tanks are connected by a series of tubes through which water must pass. In this, if one tube is clogged, the cooling effect of the entire tube is lost. Cellular or honeycomb radiator. It is composed of a large number of individual air cells which are surrounded by water. The course of the water through the radiator not being conformed to any definite vertical or angular course. In cellular construction, the clogging of any passage results in a loss, but a small part of the total cooling surface. Cooling fan All liquid cooled engines require a fan to move the air through the radiator when the vehicle is not moving at a sufficient speed through the air. It is mounted on the water pump shaft. The fan is driven by the same belt that drives the pump and the alternator. The purpose of a fan is to pull air through the radiator, which improves cooling at slow speeds and idle. Clutch fan. It is mounted on the water pump and is driven by the drive belt. It slips at high speed, in turn slowing the fan speed down. It locks up at slow speeds, in turn speeding up the fan RPMs. Should be able to turn on when the engine is turned off. Electric fan. It is mounted on the radiator and is operated by battery power. It's controlled by the thermostat switch, is located on the thermostat housing, block or radiator. Water pump. Impeller type. Draws the coolant from the radiator through the lower radiator hose and then forces it through the water jackets back into the radiator. The pump consists of a housing with a coolant inlet and outlet and an impeller. The impeller is a flat plate mounted on the pump shaft with a series of flat and curved blades or vanes. When the impeller rotates, the coolant between the blades is thrown outward by centrifugal force. Then the coolant is forced through the pump outlet and into the cylinder block of the radiator. The coolant from the radiator is drawn into the pump to replace the coolant forced through the outlet. Water pump is driven by the crankshaft through timing belt keeps cam and crankshafts in time drive or accessory belt runs alternator power steering pump ac etc thermostat it is placed between the cylinder head and top radiator hose its purpose is to close off this passage when the engine is cold thermostat the spring in this thermostat has to be in a closed position when the coolant temperature is less than the operating range of temperatures. Route to radiator cut off. Bypass allows coolant to circulate around the engine. When the coolant temperature reaches more than the operating temperatures, then the hot wax filled pellet expands and opens the thermostat. Coolant allowed to flow to radiator and bypass port is blocked. Evaporating cooling system. When the liquid evaporates into vapor, it absorbs latent heat of vaporization of the fluid from the surroundings, thereby temperature decreases. If coolant water is allowed to vaporize inside the water jacket of the engine, the heat is absorbed and carried away by one unit of water, is much more than one unit of circulating water. For the same heat removal, it requires less quantity of water. Applications Stationary engines and farm equipments Pressure sealed cooling The boiling point of coolant is raised by keeping it under pressure in a closed system. A pressure relief valve is used to prevent the cooling system from becoming overpressured and results in leaks or broken parts. A vacuum valve is also a part of the radiator cap and this valve allows the overflowed coolant back into the engine as the coolant cools. The coolant contracts as it cools and creates a vacuum in the cooling system. Advantages and disadvantages of water cooling system Advantages Uniform cooling of cylinder, cylinder head and valves. Specific fuel consumption of engine improves by using water cooling system. If we employ water cooling system, 
then engine need not be provided at the front end of the moving vehicle. Engine is less noisy as compared with air-cooled engines as it has water for damping noise. Disadvantages It depends upon the supply of water. The water pump which circulates water absorbs considerable power. If the water cooling system fails, then it will result in severe damage of the engine. The water cooling system is costlier as it has more number of parts. Also, it requires more maintenance and care for its parts. Anti-freeze solutions These are used to prevent freezing of the coolant. Most commonly used antifreeze is ethylene, glycol, alcohol, etc. A mixture of 50% water and 50% ethylene glycol will not freeze the solution above minus 36.7 degrees Celsius. Desirable qualities of antifreeze solutions Should not be toxic Easily mixable with water It should have high boiling point It should not form vapor inside the system It should have high thermal stability Easily available with low cost no single antifreeze satisfies all the requirements. Normally, the following are used as antifreeze solutions. Methyl, ethyl and isopropyl alcohols. A solution of alcohol and water. Ethylene glycol. A solution of water and ethylene glycol. Glycerine along with water, etc. Summary Let's summarize. A cooling system keeps the engine at its most efficient temperature at all speeds and operating conditions. The purpose of the engine cooling system is to prevent the overheating of your vehicle's engine. Cooling system consists of two types. They are air cooling system, water cooling system, types of liquid cooling systems, thermosiphon system, forced circulation system, evaporative cooling system, Pressure sealed cooled system.